frame you up? No, I don't think I need it. I like this. It looks cute. Cool. Hi, guys. I think we're almost at two whole years since I posted something. Wow. August 31st, 2018. And what is today? It is July 31st, 2020. 20. We are exactly one year and 11 months since my last video. Yeah, a lot has changed since then. YouTube has always been something that I've always wanted to do, but it's always been something that I've wanted to do, having it be real. Speaking of real. <laughs> oh wow, there's so much noise. dryer is driving me nuts. Uh, I've always wanted- nuts. about reality this is reality this is this is our this is Sorry. our life first of all the music that you hear is my boyfriend he's editing music for his youtube channel right now in the next room he's been like a huge inspiration for us he's actually he's been so incredible you guys should check out his channel the electric pills nerds they pair guitar pedals with beer and, and they'll like do a professional pairing of them it's a very niche concept, but it's really cute. Everyone can enjoy it. It's just, it's just quality content. So check them out. Yeah, okay, so in the amount of time that I've posted the last video to now, a lot has changed. I have moved back from Seattle. I'm in Austin now. We're in our house in Austin, Texas. I moved in with my friend Laura and we lived together for about a year in an apartment. We moved out of that apartment in February of 2020 and moved into this house with my sister and my boyfriend Scott, who's in the next room. And the four of us live in this house and then COVID hit, quarantine hit, and we have honestly just been spending a lot of time together. Spending a lot of time. It's been really fun. <laughs> We're sleeping. Sorry, Laura. What are you making? I, we are making a paleo peach cobbler. Look how, Boys. Help, look how helpful I'm being. She really is. Doing this instead. This is great. Oh, this is great. I haven't wanted to post because I haven't felt like I could provide anything that wasn't just more of the same old girly stuff that you see on YouTube. And all that stuff is fine. Like the makeup tutorials are super fine and helpful and people showing themselves at the beach in Bali or what's beautiful and everything. But that's not, like, I'm not here to show you this amazing life that I have. I'm here to show you my this life. This other amazing life that we have. Oh, thank you, yes. I was not going to be able to do that responsibly. I couldn't even get on Instagram without getting depressed. I was just constantly in a state of comparing myself to other people and being upset and frustrated. Like, I was able to catch it early enough. Like, oh, I'm comparing myself to other people I'm I'm searching for things that I think that are outside me that I think are gonna bring me happiness like for a while I was a little addicted to shopping and Seeking happiness in the next thing that I was gonna get mm. It's such a big one that I feel like goes totally unnoticed is people shopping to try and well, well even bigger than that um, Looking for the next thing to make you happy and then you get it and it's like Oh wait, but now I want this thing. Yes. Quarantine has been a really beneficial part of that just having the world quiet down well, see, that's so amazing. I just connected that you said that because you know how we would talk about all the time about how like, if you're not doing something, then you're lazy. Or you're, if you're not like making progress on things, then you're lazy. Now it's like the world is completely taking that away. Like you don't have the option to be productive or make progress on things right. a lot of the time. And it's not time, like, it's not the things that you thought you were going, like, exactly. Disclaimer. Natalie and I kind of jumped into the middle of this conversation that we were having. I don't want it to sound like what we're saying is that if you're not doing something or making progress, then you're lazy. What Natalie is pointing to is that it is such a prevalent conversation, and she and I have had this conversation a lot, it's such a prevalent conversation and mindset in our society right now that you need to be showing that you are making progress, doing things, working out, traveling places. What are you doing to show that you are achieving your dreams? And that has created this really, really, it's honestly glorified exhaustion. And that's just insane. 
So what Natalie and I are pointing to with quarantine happening, it's taken away all of those normal things that we would do to show that we are achieving our dreams and reaching our goals. And it's giving us the opportunity to look and see in our lives, each of us individually, what is it that's really important to us? What matters most to us? Which is what I'm about to say here in a minute. We are not saying that by not doing something or not making progress that that instantly makes you lazy. We're trying to point toward the opposite. With that being said, please let yourself rest. Let your mind rest, let your body rest because at the end of the day, you can't be productive if you're not resting. Trust me. Okay, back to the video. You really get down or what we had the opportunity to do was really get down to what was really, really important to us, what really mattered, which were things like our health, our spirituality, our relationships with the people closest in our lives. And doing what brings us joy. And yes, I quit bartending, which is something that I've been doing for the last three years and I have loved it. I've loved bartending. That'd be really hard. <laughs> There's actually only a vlog. No, a vlog. No, it's a vlog. I think I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I stopped doing that. I realized the people I was around were not benefiting me. And honestly, I was drinking too much. My feet hurt all the time. I did something that I never thought I was going to do. I got a desk job and I am now working for two people who are actually some of my favorite people in the world, which probably makes a huge difference. I'm their front desk at their acupuncture clinic. And it's so interesting because I would always tell myself I was never gonna do that and I surprised myself. As did I. I also got a desk job. Oh yeah, you're right. And she's working for our mom right now who owns her own business in the mortgage industry. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Can I grind it up? Grind it up. Done. To all of you guys who have been so incredible, sticking with me, commenting on my videos, I have saved so many of them on my phone. Let me see if I can find them. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna give you guys some shout outs. Aw, shout outs. Okay, Arva Roy on the uh, Why Did I Cut My Hair Lesson in Accepting Yourself video said, whoever made fun of Ava back in 2004 should apologize to her in this comment section. <laughs> And I have you loved tell them her the story? forever. Oh yeah, I told them the story I in that video. It. I don't think I've finished that episode. Oh really? Yeah. You haven't watched one of my videos? Oh. Oh. No. The All Blue 139 said to my, uh, I'm a YouTuber. Um, my favorite video. Every once in a while I come to YouTube and watch your video where you cut your hair. It gets in my recommended and I watch it all over again. I wonder how your hair looks now. And also you're beautiful. Oh, what? What a good one! I know, like these are so awesome. That's so um, generous. This is my hair right now. I'm doing this like blunt bob thing, but normally I wear it super straight these days. And the reason for this is because I have kept my undercut, but I brought down the line. It's here now. Mm -hmm. The last time I, I shaved my sides was in March, like right as the quarantine was happening, like right as Texas started shutting down. And so this is grow out from March to the end of July. So I'm just lowering the line and um, I'm not, I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair next. I at least want it all to get to one length. So that's the first step, but. You wanted it all, oh yeah. Like I want the under part to match totally. the top. Okay, the next one <laughs> on the I chopped off my hair vlog, uh, Kira Gaming said, my gayness is quaking. <laughs> That's funny. That's cute. On the I chopped off my hair, Abby Saunders said, why did they go in separate cars? Hello, global warming. Uh, okay. Okay, first of all, you're absolutely right. We went in two separate cars. Yes. The reason why we took two separate cars was because I was on a film set in a town that was far away from Austin. And then Natalie came out and was also part of the film. And then I had the haircut scheduled immediately after we finished filming. We had separate cars there, so we had to take them back to Austin, so. That was why. It wasn't on purpose. It wasn't like I didn't want to ride with her, even though I don't. Okay, Bar Keen said on I Chopped Off My Hair, looking at your videos showing people getting their hair cut by themselves, but I came across yours and all I can say is, wow, what an awesome cut for you and to donate your hair just shows how nice of a person you are. I would like to know where I can send in an application to get adopted by your family. She says, I do windows and cook. Wait, that's so cute. You are so blessed to have them, heart. Aww. 
Well, on to looking at more videos so when my clippers arrive this week, I can cut my own hair because I can't wait another month if my stylist will be open. Thanks for a great video. Aww. I'll figure out that. That was like pretty recent because she was talking about if her stylist was gonna be open. Thanks, Barb. Sarahi Govia on I Chopped Off My Hair said, Aw, best sister relationship ever. Yes! That was a good one. Yeah, it really was. Madeline C said in Why I Cut My Hair, Lesson in Accepting Yourself, this video is so perfect. I really thought I was the only one who had an experience like this in middle school. Oh. Such a beautiful message. Oh, no, see that's- No, yes. Natalie had an experience like that too. Yeah. In middle school. We'll talk about that sometime. Yeah. Well, I want people to understand that they're not alone in what they're dealing with. Yeah. Um, no matter what it is. No matter what it is, you're not alone. Katie Kitt said on why I cut my hair, when are you going to come back? You're so fantastic. I'd love to join this crazy adventure with you. See, yes, come, let's join, let's do it. I chopped off my hair. Jasmine Smith said, OMG, I felt like she was pep talking me. I'm going to cut my hair today. Aww. Yes, Jasmine Smith, you that do it. so cute. Do it. Jasmine, send us a picture of what your hair looks Jasmine, like. Jasmine, send us a picture of your hair. On the best surprise ever, Kylie E said, there's something so different and intimate about your vlogs. Ooh. I really like them and think you're just great. I'm glad I randomly found your channel. I live in the Seattle area as well. We could have hung out. You will. We gonna find you. We gonna find you. Well, in hide your kids. <laughs> hide your wife. Because we hanging out with everybody up hanging in here. Out. Oh man. Okay. This one was probably the most impactful. Like Maha Ovnovic Rakic. I'm so sorry if I butchered your name said, I have been binging on your videos. I discovered you because I've been looking into chopping off all my hair and I found your video where you do that. From that video, I continue to watch all of your other ones and you just seem like such a wonderful person and it doesn't seem like you've posted in a while. I just wanna let you know that you're really doing a great job and you have a lifelong subscriber with me. So whenever you find the time or feel like vlogging or whatever it is keeping you from it, just know you've got something really special. So keep at it. Thank you so much for that comment. That was the one that I kept in the back of my mind all this time. I really love you guys. Thank you for your kind, loving words. And I also want to thank everybody who didn't like my haircut, who thought I was doing a terrible thing and, and making a horrible I decision. Didn't that name. I and you know, I had a lot of people who were like, why have you done this? You look terrible. You've really taught me lessons in responsibly managing my mind when I get offended. Kept me humble. Yeah, anything else you want to say? Fucking excited. We love you guys. God bless you. Hell yeah. And <laughs> God bless you. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Stay tuned. I mean, we're, we got some, got some good stuff coming up. We love you all. Cheers, brother. Thanks, friend. Oh my God, I'm going to go. Yeah.